Hey, 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 welcome to Give Voice to Your Vision. I am so excited to be here today. We're going to talk about three unlikely things. I tweaked it a little bit. You see how I did that? Three unlikely things that will help you get started using video to attract clients today. So as we get started here, if you jump in live, when you jump in live, I would love to hear what are your challenges? What's stopping you from hopping in and making a quick video to get clients today. I'd love to know. If you if you chime in live, if you're here, say hey. And uh, I want to know what is stopping you from using videos to get clients today. Hey, Lisa, nice to see you here. Always so excited to see you here. We're talking about video. We've had another, uh, quite a few people join the group lately, and people are curious about video. So I know have known this from the get-go because it's my own experience as well, that the real thing that stops us from using video is usually fear and resistance. Hey, gorgeous. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Uh, uh, the real thing that stops us is some sort of fear and resistance because there's a, you can Google the way to make a video. And so, you know, some people like myself have some technology challenges, but the fact of the matter is today, if you want to be sharing your work in the biggest possible way, then you are sharing your work and your message and your mission online. Um, oh, sunglasses, Lisa, that's, we can wear your sunglasses if you have an eye infection, right? Um, we always have a, we can always have a workaround, right? Um, so the, the real reason, many people think it's the technology or they think that they have to have their content just so. That's a, a lot of the reasons. There's a lot of external reasons why we think that we're not making videos, but the deepest, the most, the, the most, uh, stifling, and yeah, for, fear stops us on many subjects, of course, right? But the most stifling reason people aren't doing uh, more video or don't know how to get started using video is, you know, there may be a technology hit, hitch, there may be some un uncertainty about what to say, but underneath even those two things are, um, the, is the reality that we it is vulnerable. So I thought uh, we're going to share these three unlikely things that will help you get started using video today, right now, to grow clients. And uh, I'm going to share those with you right now. And uh, I, but I did want to just put position it, just to help you know where I'm coming from. In that the thing that stops us more often than not in anything, as Lisa has pointed out already, uh, is fear. And and that can be subtle. It can be kind of tricky. Uh, it can be uh, a convincer it can feel so like we're being practical or it can feel like we're being realistic uh, but the underneath those uh, hurdles that can feel so big about being how do I make a video how do I uh, what do I say in the video uh, how do I make it good enough all of those things the the technology and that piece is, is is that is the fear that we feel around being seen and heard and one of the things that a lot of people don't uh, realize or uh, certainly not that many people are talking about is why does the camera why does the video feel so extraordinarily vulnerable and there is a reason for that that I love to share so that you can give yourself a little bit of a break uh, and so that you can be even more mindful about uh, the process of video it, because this this reason uh, why video feels so scary is the same reason it's the flip side of the reason uh, that is why video is so powerful and so I'm gonna talk to you about that today as well but I want to get to these three unlikely things that will help you get started using video to attract clients today right up front uh, if you want to know more about that why I'm gonna go into that as, as I cover these things so I'm going to start with the, the most important thing in any of your visibility actions. In order for you to get results from those visibility actions, whether it's video or writing a book or writing emails or making social media posts, is to know, not necessarily to say every time, but to know, to get really crystal clear on what you are offering, to have an offer and ideally we want to have a three-tiered offer right we want to um, have our whole enchilada offer and then maybe another offer so if you have a program that you're feeling filling or if you have uh, a service that you provide or if you have a product that you're selling so that knowing wh what you are offering 
having the language for that offer. Even when you're not going to talk about it, we're not going to hop on and make a quick video about, you know, selling, 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 because that doesn't feel good for us and it doesn't feel good for people and it doesn't work, right? It's not productive. But if you know in your heart and in your mind and in your being, your embodied message knows what you're offering or what you could offer at any point, that helps you pick your topics for your videos, it helps you find your language, it helps you do the market research that you need to do in order to collect that language. It uh, focuses your energy. And the two most powerful assets that we have well, I'm speaking in big, um, bold statements today. Uh, the two most powerful tools that you have, every person has, to attract clients, to make a big difference in the world, are your attention and your intention. So what you're giving attention to and what you give attention to grows, yeah? And having an intention uh, helps you to create specifically, right? So when you know what you're offering, for example, I know uh, that I have very limited one-on-one -on -one spots available and I only work with up to three one-on-one -on -one clients at a time and that I will normally, usually my first offer will be that one-on-one -on -one offer because I know that that is where people will get the biggest, boldest, most amazing results. So I want to offer the best results right up front and I know my pricing and I know the format and I know how that one-on-one -on -one offer works and then I also have a couple of different group programs that I could be running at any at, that I run at different times and that's a, less of an investment and a different kind of result different kind of access to me and then I also have uh, digital products uh, one finished digital product another in the making so that that's another way for people to learn from me with less of my hands-on support and I know what those offers are and it takes some time to get clear around the language of those offers and the pricing and the format and to implement them and create them yes but you want to know in your heart are you a wellness coach are you um, uh, uh, handcrafted card maker you know whatever you are you want to know where you're leading people what your offer is and just knowing it in your being gives you confidence and that gets us to one of the, the reason why the being on video is so vulnerable which makes it awesomely powerful and magical and also really really hard for a lot of people to do video is vulnerable why is video vulnerable well video is vulnerable because the camera magnifies everything okay it really does the camera magnifies everything and we can feel it with our being Okay, the physicists have proven it that molecules behave differently under observation. When a camera is watching electrons or whatever it is, the molecules, they behave differently than when they are not being watched. And you can geek out on YouTube and find the uh, slit test <laughs> with Dr. Quantum uh, uh, right there with me if you're curious about that. But our body, our being knows when it's being recorded and it feels exposed. It feel, We can feel when we're being observed. And it feels like such a permanent record. But that very magnification that happens on camera, that happens on video, it can either magnify your insecurity, your self-doubt, and your fear, or it can magnify the power of your message. It can magnify your impact. It can magnify your confident essence. And let me tell you another, I don't know if this was one of my three unlikely things, but <laughs> maybe you'll get four or five or ten. Uh, the, another thing that we vastly underestimate that I cannot say strongly enough that is your most powerful marketing tool is your presence. That's why this group is called Power Up Your Presence. I'm talking way beyond your online presence, your digital presence, uh, into your very being and your essence. That's why I connect visibility with voice that's why I connect uh, visibility with vulnerability because it is as Marianne Williamson taught us 25 years ago it is our light not our darkness that most frightens us 
We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, talented, gorgeous, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? That is our work here in the world, and that is why I love entrepreneurs, purpose-driven, heart-centered, leading entrepreneurs, all different levels of online leaders, whether you're a hidden online leader, an emerging online leader, or a superstar online leader. Uh, I'm here to help you really access and uh, own and embody your presence, your mission, your message, your innate value is inherent. Your value is inherent and total. You are priceless simply because you exist. So then in business, we're talking about the value of the results you provide. So when you know your offers and you know what they are and where they can lead and how, they, how you deliver them and how much they cost, you are going to have a lot more confidence on in terms of being on camera. And that confidence and that clarity is going to be magnified. Does that make sense? So again, we are not making videos saying, you can, do, you can buy this from me, you can buy that, you can buy this, invest now, invest now, blah, blah. We're not doing that, okay? You don't have to do that. You don't want to do that. But when you know it inside, you have a confidence that is captured on camera, okay? And it gives you peace of mind. It gives you grounding. It gives you a foundation to start to trust yourself. And most of us, many of us have to relearn how to trust ourselves, okay? So that first unlikely thing, you may think, I just want to get started. I just want to build a tribe. I just want to have people join my group. I just, want to, I just want to do these things with video, right? I just want to get started. And that's what we're talking about. But I'm telling you, the thing that's going to give you confidence and clarity and momentum is knowing what you offer. And I'm going to tell you something else. You can date your offers. You don't have to get married right away. You can try things out. The thing I will tell you is that this confidence and this charisma and this clarity comes in action. We don't go off into our little room, create something perfect, and then deliver it to the world. It happens in real time. So don't get hung up here. You know, just write something down and decide to stick with that for 30 days and test it out. Okay. So knowing what you offer is the first thing. Um, yeah. See the rest on replay. Great, Lisa. Yeah, and then um, having, this is another unlikely thing that will help you get started on video. So again, I will say, if you want to make a video and you have a smartphone or a laptop with a camera, the way to make a video is to make a video, okay? The rest is practice and having some systems and having some information about how you create that content and how to perform and have your natural, authentic presence online, okay? So you already have the tools you need to make a video uh, today. And we're talking about the other th unlikely things, three other unlikely things that will help you get started right away. So knowing your offer, if you're just getting started coaching or you're just starting to build a line, create that initial offer of how people can work with you and uh, know how much it costs, know the results that you want people to get and uh, find that language by talking to them, okay? Asking people what they're looking for. We'll go more into that in other lives. You can see some on the replay tab too, okay? So the second unlikely thing that I want you to have that will get you started using video right away today is, drum roll please, I don't know what that sounds like when I drum on my computer. Uh, drum roll please, the second unlikely thing that's gonna help you get started making videos today is having your own permission. Okay, so having your own permission. Allow yourself to practice, allowing yourself to uh, play with the medium, having your own permission to practice. Whatever it takes to just let yourself practice, let yourself begin. And, and I will share, as I have shared in other trainings with you, uh, that the, um, I, I named this the, the R&R method. Okay, so this is my R&R &R method for practicing your videos, okay? The uh, record and release, all right? So when you, ha if there's a real charge around making video, I'm gonna encourage you, like I said, we have the tools. For, you know, you find your camera, you find selfie mode, you hold it here, and you practice. You can just say testing one, two, three. Yeah, but you give yourself, the second thing that we need to have is the permission to practice, okay? So the record and release method means that if it's a real charge, you're gonna hit record, you're gonna say testing one, two, three, hi, my name's Michelle, something simple, and then you're gonna hit stop, and then you're gonna delete it right away, okay? Record it and release it, all right? You're gonna do that three times. And as you do this, 
Um, I would encourage you to also, you'll, you'll gain your own permission to practice actually offering some teaching value, actually offering some support, and uh, we can talk about content. There's other tabs here about content. Actually, if content is your biggest challenge, you can type uh, FVF in the comments, and I'll come back and check. Tag me when you comment. Fast video formula, FVF. And that is my template for you to shoot a hot video anytime, anywhere on how to create the content. What do you say? Okay, the fast video formula. So if, you, if content's your big obstacle, type FVF in the comment section and tag me. And I will make sure that you have a chance to get my fast video formula to help you with the content. And that's, to des that's designed to help you get confident around making videos, two, one to three minute videos, so that you can really embody your message and feel um, really connected to those offers, even if you're not saying them, and grounded in a foundation that's clear and confident about your message, your work in the world. Yeah and providing value, okay? We always wanna provide value. So the third unlikely thing, you may have guessed it, um, it's woven into everything I've talked with you about today. The third unlikely thing that will help you get started to attract, make videos that attract clients today is courage, being brave. And remember, courage isn't necessary if we're not afraid. Courage comes when we are afraid and we act and choose to act in spite of that fear, yeah? So being bold, being brave, and embracing your courage combined with the record and release method. First, you have your own permission to just simply practice making a video. And you don't ever even have to watch it at first. If the charge is really big, I would encourage you not to watch it until you feel a little calmer. You've practiced a few times and then you can start to watch it back, okay? And if content is what you're struggling with, I'm happy to share the fast video formula with you. Uh, it's my template, it's a, it's a pretty good document that'll talk to you about how you could get started uh, creating high value content for your clients that attracts clients right away. Okay, so if content is what you think is the problem, then type FVF in the comments when you're here live or watching the replay and, I, and, and tag me, and I will make sure that you get a copy uh, access to that fast video formula, yeah? So the three unlikely things that will help you get started using video to attract clients today. First thing is knowing what you're offering, okay? Hey, if you're here, say hi. Knowing what you're offering. That doesn't mean that every video is going to offer it. I restate. It doesn't mean you're offering and selling, selling, selling all the time. You are not doing that. You are providing value. But when you know what your offer is to begin, you're going to have more confidence. You're going to have more clarity. You're going to have the words at the tip of your tongue. And how we create offers is something I could do another whole training on. Okay? So you're going to know what your offer is, even though you're not talking about your offer all the time or, or even much at all. You're providing value. Okay? And the second thing is per your own permission, having your own permission to practice. And I shared the record and release method with you so that you can press record, make a video, testing, one, two, three, does this thing on? How do I do this? What am I doing? Ugh, stop, and then delete, okay? And when you're ready to start talking about content, when you have the fast video formula or another uh, teaching topic that you wanna cover that you know is gonna address the challenges of your ideal clients, then you can play with that format and remember at any point you can delete that video and if you're nervous about going live you can just record and release and let yourself your whole nervous system just cope and deal and expand and stretch around being on camera it is more vulnerable molecules behave differently under observation yeah all right and then the third thing is to be brave is to be brave. And I'll share my last best tip on the way to muster your courage because I don't think that picking yourself up by your bootstraps and being mean with yourself, disciplined or harsh with yourself 
works very well. I think that's a setup to have you never make another video again or never do anything else again. This, this uh, urge to be hard on ourselves and to get motivated and just buck up and do it has not ever worked for me and it is not the faster, easier way and I have not seen any of my clients thrive when they're doing it. It's usually the thing that stops us dead in our tracks. I should be. I gotta just make myself. All that stuff actually creates more resistance, okay? And what we resist persists, right? So how can you uh, draw on your courage, right? How can you draw it up inside of you and give voice from while being brave without that mustering and that harshness with yourself? Uh, and and the, the way to do that is to remember this. And I've posted it on mirrors and by my camera and clients post it. I tell them to post it all the time. But to remember this and let your mission, your message be more, I can't speak, your, be, your mission, your message be more important than anything. Okay, being of service, sharing your message. Your mission is more important than how you think you look or sound, than what you think other people might think about you or say about you. And it's, it's the most important thing. You raise this, this willingness to serve in the biggest possible way uh, up to in, in your attention and in your intention you bring it up into the top number one priority. I'm willing to stumble over my words. I'm willing to do it perfectly imperfect. I am willing to serve in the biggest possible way because I guarantee you there are people who need to hear the message exactly the way it comes through you. Even if a whole bunch of people have already said it again, I have learned and practiced and had my own a process of, of activating my message through learning, you know, through yoga studies and other spiritual texts and 25 years of personal development and Deepak and Oprah and Eckhart and Marianne and on and on, Wayne Dyer, all these people who have taught me, yeah? And there are people who resonate with my message because I have had to overcome incredible stage fright and incredible insecurity and vulnerability that has stifled me and taken away my voice. So these tools, knowing your offer, having your own permission to practice, and the use the record and release method, and being brave from this uh, place of your, letting your desire to serve and to impact as many people as you can impact, be bigger than your fear. Have more of your attention and setting the intention that that is where you will speak and serve from. And that has been one of the most powerful tools that has helped me to access, activate, and allow my voice, my message, my mission to come into the muscles and the cells and my mouth and my lips and my tongue and my brain and my body and my essence and my presence to share with you. All right, so three unlikely things that will help you get started using video right now. There's a long list. We could talk about this forever. And there are other trainings in the video tab in this group specifically about some about the technology and other details of using video. So a lot of people who have joined the group recently are really interested in video and I want to provide that value to you. Obviously, or maybe not obviously, but uh, that is available for a deep dive. I really work on this. Absolutely get the support you need. And there are, you know, hundreds more tools than I can share with you in a quick Facebook Live in that program. And it's available on my website. You can private message me if that's something you're interested in for sure. Yes, get the support you need. I have been coaxed and held and nurtured and uh, lifted up by many, many others who have helped me to find and free my voice and uh, on video, online, on stage. And uh, that is why I'm able to be here with you. But there are people who need to hear your message exactly the way that you bring it. And your voice is an essential part of creation. And if you are silenced, if you are withholding that expression in any way, we, we all do it in many ways, layer by layer. But when you withhold that expression, first of all, it takes more energy, it's exhausting, and it's draining. Yeah. And when you are withholding that energy, you are stopping that 
spark of creation from existing. Yeah. So let that be uh, what motivates your being brave. Be brave on the behalf of your message and others. And not just because you should. You shouldn't be afraid. You should just get out there. Those shoulds uh, stop us often right right in our tracks. All right, guys, so those are my three unlikely things that will help you get started using video to attract clients today. If you want the fast video formula, you can type FVF in the comments and tag me, and I will make sure you get access to the fast video formula, which is my three-step system to create absolutely great client getting videos in just a few minutes, anytime, anywhere. And if you have any other specific questions around video, you can post those. Um, I'm always looking to teach and share on topics that will actually get you the results that you need here in this group. Of course, uh, the investment uh, to be here is to be here and uh, share, and you're welcome to invite friends if you want to have the real results, the faster results that is going to be working with someone and getting support. And if you want to talk to me about that, the way to do it is private message me. I would love to support you. All right, guys, good luck with your videos. And I will see you here next week, Thursdays at 1 o'clock. Pacific time for give voice to your vision. All right, guys, love to you. Have a great weekend.